In this last part, we will introduce the observation sheets that were developed within the framework of the Shift in Orality project. They are to be found in the appendixes 3 and 4 of the handbook, one for telephone interpreting and one for video-based interpreting. As is well known, remote interpreting differs from on-site interpreting in many ways, but so far, interpreting students are being mainly trained for traditional on-site interpreting. It is therefore of paramount importance to make them aware of the differences. Useful tools to draw attention of the students to the peculiarities of telephone and video-based interpreting are observation sheets specific to each modality. These forms are based on the taxonomy developed within the SHIFT project and offer a list of suggestions of phenomena to be observed and analysed during a remotely interpreting interaction. They are intended to be used by trainers and students in the classroom to observe other students' performance and offer constructive feedback and reflection after each role play. Students are asked to note their observations on the sheets for each role play, specifying both good strategies as well as issues that require discussion or improvement in relation to the 10 phenomena for telephone interpreting and the 9 phenomena for video-based interpreting. The difference being due to the fact that the former relies on acoustic input and therefore the phenomenon prosodic resources was added. This is the phenomena taxonomy. Managing the opening, managing spatial organization, managing turns, reference to primary participants, prosodic resources, embodied resources, comprehension problems, handling objects, artifacts, unexpected events, cognitive resources, managing closing. Each category is accompanied by questions to stimulate reflections. For instance, for managing the opening, the following is included. How is the initial meet and greet phase handled? Is the suitability of the setup checked? Are any ground rules for communication management established? Do you think a different way of handling this phase could have improved communication? At the end of each role play, students who performed are asked first to share their impressions, difficulties, discoveries, vis-à-vis on-site interpreting or any other issue they deem relevant. Subsequently, the rest of the students are invited to share their observations with their peers and trainers, leading to a fruitful discussion. Then, the trainers will add theirs and or comment on what emerged during the exchange, pointing to what can be learned from that unique experience. The result of encouraging students to reflect on their practice and on that of their peers through tools such as the suggested observation sheets has proven to be an extremely enriching, rewarding and far-reaching training activity.